Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Honor back with another video, and yes, we got a statement from the head director, uh, Kang Wong Gi, and as well as the Korean Maple Story director, Kim Jang Sook. Gonna have it down in this summary video. Huge thanks to Neil for translating this. Alright, so this was live stream a few minutes ago. Alright, and they were talking about, of course, the cube uh, manipulation issue over there. And uh, well, most, most of the stuff I already covered in my previous video. So links in the description if you want to have a look at what's going on. But in this video, let me summarize on what they're going to talk about. All right. First of all, they sincerely apologize. All right. The context that got posted on the news, right. And as well as the notice that was actually posted by Nixon uh, Live, HQ director. Right, uh, links in the description as well for the notice. And why did this got triggered? They mentioned, right? They decided to review the cube rates on March 5th, 2021. And they reviewed that you cannot get three line boss. Mm -hmm. And they got accused. And the FTC uh, in Korea decided to open an investigation on all Nixon games over there. They investigated on every single line of code, email, and documentation. And of course, they wanted to apologize regardless of what they are going to talk about. Um, they broke their trust in 2021 and sincerely apologized for it. Now, uh, Wonky went through all the three of the incidents that happened during uh, the few years, 2020, uh, 2010, 2013 to 2016 over there. Uh, Links in the description to the previous video as well. I explain everything in depth. Now, what he mentioned is that they had their monitoring system and they figured that they are monitoring the balance. And looking back right now, they said that it doesn't make sense why they designed it like that. And the main reason they did it was because of the balancing reason. They did not explain further in depth on it. They just mentioned that the reason they did this is because for the balancing reason. Anyways, okay, moving on. Now, of course, they were accused. And um, they also wanted to basically clear out, right, any of the debunk, any of this. The dynamic percentage for cubes are not true. Meaning that your account does not have a specifically higher percentage or lower percentage than any other players, right, vice versa. So everyone, all the players have the same percentage. So there was no dynamic percentage over there. Okay, So that's been debunked. Wonderberry and Star Force. There is no issue on that. Okay. And of course, players were wondering, you have 13 years of data, but you only keep the logs for two years. Right? So how did the investigation go? So... They mentioned that the FTC did not take the logs. They took the codes and the emails and the documents. Hence why they were able to, uh, well, get all this down over here, right? After all this over here. Mm. Yeah, then after that, they apologized for it. And they said that we will try our best to regain the customers, right? the players' trust once again. So yeah, that is the TLDR of the entire stream. And of course, they also go in depth on uh, what has happened. You can watch my previous video for that. Yeah. And of course, this is a major issue in Korean Maple Story, right? This is even bigger than the flame incident. And I'm not sure if OC servers are affected or not, to be honest, because OC servers have different rates unless they audit them or something. But... Yeah, you know that GMS rates are much higher than the rest of the other servers, right? So, there's no black and white on that. As far as I know. Yeah. But this is a major, major issue in KMS. This is... This is huge, okay? This is... This is major fucked up. Alright, anyways. That's basically it for this video. Um, If you want more details of what's happening... of Links in the description once again, all right? Head on to that video to understand in depth of what's going on. All right, so as always, thank you very much for Neil for translating this. It's like 4 a.m. for him. Yep. 
As always, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Stay awesome, everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye.